Hi, this is Mr. Erlen giving an intro to 9.7a, identifying the Sokatoa. In the event that we have a right triangle and we are looking at a particular angle in that triangle, like for example, say we're, uh, let's go with A, B, C. Let's say that we're given that the measure of angle B is equal to 58 and that AB is equal to 20, and we're supposed to find what BC is equal to. As always, I recommend you draw this picture out on paper and see what it looks like. The measure of angle B is 58, so I'm gonna add that in here. That's 58 degrees, and AB is 20. That means the distance from A to B is 20. Okay. In this step, all we're doing is we're identifying whether it's so, ka, or toa. And you'll remember that so stands for the sine of an angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Ka says that the cosine of an angle is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And toa says that the tangent of an angle is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So the whole trick here is figuring out which sides we're dealing with here. Okay, we're given AB, we're given that BC is our unknown, this is our X over here. What I wanna ask myself is, relative to this angle, this is where my eyeball goes. I'm gonna put a little picture there of an eyeball and say, since that's the acute angle that was given to me, not the right angle, the other one, this is my perspective. And if I turn myself looking from this perspective, I wanna ask myself, which is my opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse? I know that my hypotenuse is always the longest one, always the slanted one, it's the one opposite the right angle. So there's no question that this is the hypotenuse. And then from this eyeball, if I have to look all the way across the triangle, in other words, it's way on the opposite side of this big open space. This would be the opposite. Adjacent means next to you. And it's true that the hypotenuse is also adjacent, but what we're looking for is the leg that is adjacent, the non-hypotenuse side that I'm touching with my eyeball. So that would be this side, that's adjacent. Now that I've marked those pieces, I'm asking myself, which sides matter to me? The adjacent has my 20. That's what's given to me as a piece of information. So I need to use adjacent. So I gotta use the A. I know that I'm gonna use the A. So I'm dealing with either Ka or Toa for this one. I'm not gonna use the sine function because it doesn't even involve this side and I need to involve this side. I also don't need the opposite function because that's, it's empty. I have no information about that. I'm not looking for it. I'm not given information. I'm gonna ignore the O, but I do need the hypotenuse because I'm trying to solve for that. So this has opposite and adjacent. No, that's not gonna help me because I don't want the opposite. This has adjacent and hypotenuse. Adjacent is the side I've got. Hypotenuse is the side I want. This is a call to use the cosine function. I want to find the cosine of this angle because it's the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Hope that helps in solving. Uh, let me give you one more example. This is just identifying whether things are opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse. What if I were doing this one? Step one is I put my eyeball here. Say, so this is my perspective. Step two is I identify where my hypotenuse is. That's gonna be the one opposite the right angle. And then I say relative to my eyeball is the other side of the inform informative value to me, the one that I'm using, is it on the opposite side of the triangle or is it right next to me, adjacent? This one's on the opposite side. So then I'm asking myself if I've got the opposite 
and the hypotenuse, which of my trig functions is that? Is it so, ka, or toa? So, S-O-H. That tells me that the S is what I want to deal with. It's my sine function. So I would choose sine. Hope that helps.